Itching and scratching consumed Karen Berger's life until she met dermatologist Dr. Brian Kim. I would wake up in the morning and there'd be blood on the sheets because I had scratched during the night. I wasn't even aware of it, but you would scratch until you just bled. For two years, her quality of life suffered. The itch was debilitating. This is what she said she did all the time, scratch herself as the itching was extreme, unbearable and unrelenting. It never went away. I started getting rashes on my back. It ended up spreading everywhere. Karen went to specialists, dermatologists and allergists. She tried everything, including every test and cream they offered. No relief, and it only got worse. She suffers from chronic itch from an unknown cause, a condition called idiopathic pruritus. Eventually, she was sent to see Dr. Kim. Before I got on the medication, it became so overwhelming that I I didn't know what I was gonna do next. That medication is the remedy Kim offered. It's an anti-inflammatory drug called Zeljans, a rheumatoid arthritis medication. But the drug is also a potential new therapy for chronic itch. Kim is co-director of the Center for the Study of Itch and Sensory Disorders at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis. He says the center is the only research facility in the country fully dedicated to itch. Kim's team discovered an itch molecule that stimulates a key protein in nerves, a critical component of chronic itching, leading to a small clinical trial with this particular rheumatoid arthritis medication, Zeljans. A drug called tofacidinib, its brand name is Zeljans. This jack enzyme that it blocks was known to be a great target as an anti-inflammatory agent. As a result, this drug is used for rheumatoid arthritis, and the aha moment was that, ah, jack doesn't just work in immune cells, but it's very important in the nervous system that, oh, this drug could actually be a neuromodulatory drug, not an immunomodulatory drug. He proved it works for chronic itch patients. On average, they experience 80% improvement. Within 24 hours, the, the intensity of the itch had started to subside, but within two weeks, I was completely clear. I was back to my normal skin then. 15% of people suffer from chronic itch, either caused by inflammatory conditions like eczema and psoriasis or associated with cancers and nerve disorders. Chronic itching without a known cause is more of a problem as people age. Your nervous system starts to wear out. But the other thing we also recognize is that your skin, as a dermatologist, that your skin gets weaker. And the third thing is that we also know your immune system changes. Researchers at the center are always investigating, trying to understand itch and sensory disorders. Kim always has a study underway, concluding or about to get started. This technology goes into an itch patient's home. The Emerald device is a touchless sensor and machine learning platform for health analytics. In this clinical trial, the device detects patients' movements, including scratching with correlating data. Machine learning can lead to a diagnosis and intervention. And what about that pesky back itch many people have, which is likely the reason why a back scratcher was invented? Notalgia? Parasitica, or NP, is a chronic itch disorder that results in localized itching on the back. Kim says there's a promising new drug that acts on sensory neurons to suppress the itch. He's beginning a phase two clinical trial with NP patients to investigate. Itch from atopic dermatitis or eczema is another big one. Kim's team recently identified an entirely new mechanism, an antibody involved in a form of itch and eczema. The mechanism is also a central player in asthma and food allergy. Kim says the research may unveil why allergic processes like a food allergy are poorly misunderstood. Through research, Kim is hoping to improve the quality of life for all itch patients. After two years of suffering, Karen's life changed within a matter of days after stepping through these doors. Back to being normal again. I mean, I can just be normal again. I don't have to worry about it.